Hello everyone and welcome to Harvest World where we are learning about grapes. How do we plant them? How do we harvest them? And what do we need to do to maximize our crop? Well, we're going to find out. If you want to plant grapes, keep in mind that they are only available on two maps that I'm aware of. The first is Blue Mountain Valley, a brand new map that I'm on right now. A fantastic looking map. I'd love to play it if I had the time. I just don't right now, but I plan on it one of these days. The other is Ischia Farm or Ischia Farm or Ischia Farm, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Apparently in Italian it's Ischia, but I'm doing a Let's Play series on that map right now, and I have planted a ton of grapes and harvested some as well. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about here. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed. Now, now that we know two maps you can play on, what do we need? Well, you do need to install some mods to be able to plant and harvest grapes. The first of which is this big blue beauty right here, the New Holland Broad 9000 Grape Harvester. This is specifically designed to harvest the grapes in your field. And you'll have to have this if you want to harvest your grapes. Now the second piece of equipment that is actually fairly optional you don't really necessarily have to have this, but this trailer, the DRL-140N, this is specifically designed for grape harvesting. So keep that in mind as well. Now you do have to have the Damcon planter. This is a special Damcon planter set up just to plant and harvest grapes. Or just to plant grapes, I should say. This thing won't be harvesting anything. But... This is a Damcon planter. Now, if we go into our shop menu, look at our harvesters. Once that mod is installed and activated, you can see we've got the broad 9000 right here. Go into our options. We can pump up the engine a little bit. I do have GPS installed, but and you have the option of wide or standard tires. So nothing too dramatic, but that is your broad. Now, the uh, great planters are in planters and as we scroll along i've got too many mods installed it's this damcon pl75 and you can see right here white grapes and red grapes and it says the planter is for this planter is for planting seedlings of grapes olives and almonds now this particular map does not do olives or almonds that's specific to ischia farm but it does do the grapes. So under planters, you can find the Damcon. Now, as far as trailers go, the trailer that I mentioned is in standard trailers. There it is, the DRL-140N. And in the shop, you can change which side this unloads to, left or right, because it's got little arms here that will switch back and forth depending on which side you want that to load and unload from. So the next thing that we need are saplings, but not your standard saplings. In our pallets we will find red grape saplings and white grape saplings. They're effectively the same, they just have a different color so you can pick and choose whichever one you want. I would plant all of one or all of another. Don't mix and match because they are separate crops, so they're they're not going to mix in your trailer or in your harvester, things like that. So I would keep my fields separate. But those are our saplings pallets, and I've got some of those sitting right here. And you can see they're just boxes full of grape saplings. Okay, so as far as fields go, you don't need to do anything special that you wouldn't do for any other crop. So, you know, if you need plowing, you need plowing. If you need lime, you need lime, and you still need two applications of fertilizer. Now I have put the first application of fertilizer on here, and we'll wait until our grapes grow and then be able to put a second, or start to grow, and then we'll be able to put a second application of fertilizer on there. If you're not familiar with field preparation, Feel free to look up my video on field preparation. I go through all the steps for getting your field ready depending on what the field needs. So let's get the show on the road. 
I've got my handy dandy case tractor right here and I am going to hook up to my grape planter now as long as I'm sitting beside a pallet of grapes which I am I can just hit the R key and that pallet will load right in and if you've ever planted trees before this will not be anything new to you if you haven't planted trees before well welcome aboard <laughs> now the one thing about grapes I'm gonna say is they are very labor-intensive and very time-consuming because this is all you get one narrow row at a time so we turn on our grape harvester we drop it down and we start down the field and you can see it is leaving a nice little row of grape saplings right there on the field as we move along so now it's just a matter of running this field about uh, I don't know 40 or 50 times to get these saplings planted so I am going to get that job done and check back in with you okay I am just putting in the last of the grapes on this field coming to the end right now and I'm gonna gonna talk about just a couple of things that I have discovered in my uh, battle with grapes sometimes <laughs> now one interesting thing about this grape planter is it's nice because you actually have the option to create fields with this thing so if you just wanted to put in like a row of grapes to decorate your farm or something like that you know you could come up into an area like this and if we hit our Y to allow create fields well I could drop this down and I could just start planting a row of little grapes along here like so you see how they're just planting right along no problem whatsoever so that's a pretty cool aspect you know grapevines would be a nice addition to a farm I think um, especially you know decorative they actually look very nice so that's one thing to keep in mind now I have had a, tr a, tr a trial and a tribulation <laughs> with grapes on my let's play on Ischia and it was kind of odd and it took me a while to sort it out because what I was trying to do you can see right here well, let me get rid of that GPS that these grapes are pretty far apart and I figured well I could get them closer together and I tried planting between rows so I'm gonna try that right now and you see how there's nothing hitting the ground but if you watch the sapling counter in the lower right hand corner it still acts like it's planting it's using up saplings now yep, there's a few that just popped in Let's see how spotty it's becoming so it gets a little tricky planting between rows it doesn't like doing it it doesn't like them being too close together I don't know why but I also discovered that that's only if I'm planting east to west if I plant north and south in this direction it seems like I could plant them as close together as I wanted to but as long as I'm going east to west it doesn't seem to like it so keep that in mind when you decide to go for grapes north to south is better if you want tighter rows and the, the distance between rows doesn't matter because these aren't like real great plants there is no collision with them now in the real world as my good friend caveman always points out grapes have to be planted in rows there's always posts and and wire that hold up the vines and things like that which is absolutely true this is farming simulator crops they don't act that way um, it's up to you how you want to handle that I made the mistake of doing headlands <laughs> on my grapes and it's it drives him a little bit crazy to watch that sometimes I think and he's right he's absolutely right you know in the real world it would be done that way okay 
So at this point, what do we need to do? Well, we just need to wait on these suckers to start growing. So I'm going to advance time, and I will check back in with you as soon as I see some growth on these. Okay, so it's been not quite 24 hours, and we have our first growth on our grapes. Look at that. Looking pretty darn sharp, I must say. Now if we go look at our map, we're going to look at our grape field right here, and we can see red grapes are red on the map. And if we look at our field, now it's, it's only got one application of fertilizer, so we need to get a second application on there. I should have just hooked up to the fertilizer spreader and not to that trailer. I was getting ahead of myself. So first growth happened in about 24 hours. Now it's possible that the growth rate on these on this map is different from Eskia Farm. That's very distinctly possible. I know for a fact on Eskia it takes about five days. So I'm just going to run this fertilizer spreader right down here. And I want to see. Yeah, so we are able to put a second coat of fertilizer on now. It's taking that with no problem. So let me finish this up and we'll look at where we go from here. And what the heck, I'm even going to come up here and throw some fertilizer on these, uh, these grapes that I planted right along this, this road. <laughs> Okay, well I won't need this anymore, so we'll just drop it right here. Okay, well at this point we are 100% fertilized. Our grapes are in, they're growing, and now it's time to advance time again and see just how long these takes. These takes. <laughs> um, and I'm going to... Look at this. So we planted on Monday. Just keep in mind that was Monday. I, I want to keep track of the time and how long these things take. So I will check back on with you when I see grapes on the vine. Advancing time. See you then. Okay, so we know we planted grapes on Monday. It's only Wednesday. And yes, we have got grapes on the vine. So these grow much faster than they do on Eskia Farm. On Eskia Farm, when you plant new grapes, they uh, they take five days, five in-game days before they'll show any fruit on the vine. So this one's much quicker, and I'm kind of curious to see. Yeah, the price for grapes on Eskia Farm is much, much higher. In fact, let me make sure. Even on easy mode. No, the price is about the same. So you'll make a lot more money on grapes here on Blue Mountain Valley than you will on Eskia Farm just because it takes a lot longer for first growth. So now that we've got grapes on the vine, what do we got to do? Well, we got to get our handy dandy broad 9,000. And we do need to unfold the harvester. See how it raises up just a little bit. Turn it on. And now we just line up our row. Like so. Now you do need to lower it. Which seems odd. But there we go. Just run down your row, row by row, and it's going to start harvesting those grapes. Kicking out leaves and stems. And I'll just do a couple passes, and then we'll look at unloading this thing. I don't think I'll do the whole field.
but yeah, it's a pretty slick little piece of equipment. And I've actually seen these working in real life. Um, well, on video, but the actual... I mean, this is a real piece of machinery, which I'm sure you know. Farming simulator's not exactly real life, but usually the equipment is pretty darn close to what you would see. And yeah, I, I saw this uh, doing an olive harvest on a YouTube channel called Tantum Tech, which does some really interesting videos about machinery, and they often do videos specific to farm machinery. You might check them out if you're if you're interested in new types of farm machinery or things that you wouldn't normally see. It's pretty slick, actually. They cover just about everything. Okay, so we're getting about just over a thousand liters per pass here, per row. That's not too bad. Okay, so now that we've got some grapes in here, how do we get rid of them? Well, this harvester has a pipe also, just like any other harvester, but it's a little more tricky because you need to be backed up to your trailer. Like so. Get in close. Hit O. And the whole body tips and it will start pouring those grapes right into that trailer like so. Fold up your pipe and now you can go back to harvesting more red grapes. Apparently I don't have access to that land. I'm going to do just a couple more passes because I'm going to show you a little something that's interesting also. The reason that that, that little grape trailer, and it doesn't hold much, only about 14,000 liters or so, but the reason that's optional, well, I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. So as you can see, I've harvested up some grapes and I've got just a standard trailer here. An extra tall trailer, no less. And I'm going to put it in position right behind my grape harvester. About like so. Jump in that grape harvester, back it up just a little bit. Now it is going to bump in. But I'm going to put my pipe out. And there you can see if you just fiddle with it a little bit, this will unload into any standard trailer. If you don't care about realism, and you just want a bigger trailer to unload your grapes into, pretty much any trailer will handle the job. That's why the little grape harvesting trailer is optional. It's a little more fiddly, but still, no problem. So I thought we were just about done, and it turns out I missed something that is really important that you need to know about. Now, I had to come back in. I didn't save my game. So I came back and I planted a couple of rows of grapes. I've gone through all the steps. You can see this grape harvester has just over 2,000 liters of grapes in it. So we, this has just been harvested. Now, what you need to know is, once these are planted, they grow back. Just like grass. The only difference is, it will need two applications of fertilizer. And this can be tricky. I've played with this just a little bit. First application, no problem. Goes right on. The second one, there's nothing on the field that indicates when you can do it. So if I look at my map, get to my fertilized uh, soil composition, find my field. <laughs> there we go. So right now we've got 
dark strips along here. That does not indicate fertilized. That's just showing where your grapevines are located. So if I start down this field and start fertilizing, you can see behind me, it's showing that light blue first fertilization state. And of course we want to do that for all of our grape, grape plants. And right now it's 1455. I'm just going to get swung around here. And I just had to play with this. I was I kept advancing time and advancing time to figure out when I could could fertilize a second time. So that's what we're going to do here again. I will check back in with you as soon as I can fertilize this field again. Okay, so it's just about 6 a.m. the next day. And it just now allowed me to fertilize for a second time. If we look at our map, you can see we are getting that second fertilizer state. So we are once again fully fertilized and it's just a matter of time. So let me advance time one more time and we will look at our grapes. I'll be back when they're ready again. Okay, so it is just before midnight the day after planting. So just about, what, 18 hours? No, 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 no. 36 hours. So just about 36 hours. And these are ready to go again. So as you can see, grapes do regrow. The timing isn't perfect. <laughs> I could be doing this during the day. But... Our grapes have regrown and we can harvest them again. And as far as I can tell, they'll just keep regrowing. So there you have it. This is my tutorial on grapes. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If this tutorial helped you out, if you found it entertaining, educational, or otherwise, do me a favor. Remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And until next time, take care.